what what are the key components that we have to have in order to have a successful remote production environment? In my view, there's sort of two or three types of remote production. Um, the first one is like remote feed ingest. You've got a bunch of cameras or, or feeds on site, normally cameras on site that you want to bring back to a broadcast center. That kind of traditional at home production where you just said, well, I just want to bring my feeds into my broadcast center. I have infrastructure there switches, routing, glue, conversion, replays, that all exists. I want to bring my feeds into that broadcast center and I want to use my in-house um, abilities to, to produce my in-house infrastructure. Um, that was sort of pre-pandemic, that was used. You know, it was a few people were doing that um, and it was quite possible to do it. Obviously, most people at that point, you needed quite big pipes. You know, you needed the connectivity to the venue or the stadium to bring things back. And again, even pre-pandemic, we were seeing people uh, using like JPEG Access or J JPEG 2000 to move feeds between the venue and mm -hmm. the broadcast center. Um, so like EVS, for example, with the Neuron product, that's where that's been quite heavily used with Neuron compressors to bring feeds back, um, you know, plug in 15, 20 feeds into it and, and compress them and bring them back. In that instance, generally you want to compress to a, uh, you, you want to compress to a higher bandwidth. You know, you, you want to preserve picture quality. You don't want to throw away too many bits because when you bring it back into your broadcast center you want to be able to produce with it you want to be able to archive with it um, and uh, and you want to keep it as yeah as high quality as possible um, and generally there's sort of dedicated lines dedicated transport your connectivity is dedicated for that purpose and you might have what was traditionally maybe more of a um, sort of traditional sort of video line you might say you know you have um, videos and return video feeds um, perhaps now is shifting more towards data, but even so, it's 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 bringing back feeds. Um, it's not necessarily scalable. I think you can do it to probably sort of 10, 12, maybe 15 cameras, but that times 200 megabits a second, you suddenly start to run into the gigabits per second of bandwidth needed. And that cost adds up very, very quickly then. And also, certainly across Europe, maybe a bit less in the US, but across Europe, lots of venues don't have that type of connectivity available. Mm. So it's very hard to get beyond sort of maybe 5, 10, 15 cameras out of a venue at 200 megabits a second per camera, for example. Is um, that a fiber issue, a, a connectivity issue? A, what, what, what's the, the core issue there in Europe? Because there yeah. may be some issues similar to smaller venues here in the US. Yeah, it's, it's just connectivity. So I think it's that uh, a lot of them either don't have the connectivity maybe where it's needed in the venue. So, uh, you know, if, it, if it's not necessarily in the truck dock or in the truck bay, it can be very hard to get it. And then some venues just that's not within their infrastructure. It's not something they ever planned for. And it's something that may come about with second, second right cycles. But we're still in many cases, we're in the middle of right cycles. And I think that a lot of that is triggered by apps like media rights cycles where as part of the new rights for the league of whatever that league is you know that will mandate that certain connectivity gets put into the stadiums to mm. facilitate the um the, the egress of content you know the, the export of feeds or the, the provision of feeds. sure um, it is increasing it's and obviously you know premier league stadiums in the uk and in spain and in in, in italy have that connectivity but as new clubs maybe like come into the Premier League then maybe don't have it yet. So you still might be doing a Premier League football match that just doesn't have good enough connectivity to bring all of the cameras back. And then the other problem is a Premier League match, as an example, maybe has 20 cameras. And even then, 20 times 200, you know, you need a, you need a good sort of four gig to bring those things back. That's a, that's a lot of bandwidth. 